Got one coming in from Jake. He says, Dear Dogfather and ahead of the game VTuber, after Persona 4 Golden came out on Steam this year, I decided to dip my toes in the Persona pool for the first time and fell in love instantly. Spent my summer doing two playthroughs of P4, collecting all achievements, had a blast. Decided some other, to play some other games in the series. I don't own a PS4. Looked into emulating uh, Fess after wrestling with for a couple of, with it for a couple of hours. I got it running and was immediately interested in the story and characters. A couple hours in, but I can already tell I'll enjoy this as the Eps out OST is full of bangers. But some parts of this game have not aged well, especially after oh. 4. Um, lack of ability to control my direct party members in battle. Um, yeah, as we said, the AI taking control and having to choose what they're going to do. We, we, yeah, well, all that shit. Marin um, fucking Karen. There's a couple options to fix this. None are ideal. There's a community-made hack uh, for party members, but the hack also disables some items and abilities and breaks and means I won't be playing the game uh, as designed. Um, I also looked at P3 Portable, which allows you to pick uh, between FEMC or uh, MC, but the I heard it's missing a handful of other things about the game that I do enjoy. When looking up that version of the game to play, it seemed the consensus was to start with FES and maybe do a second playthrough on Portable. Uh, I'll probably just forge ahead with FES and the community hack, but I have conflicted feelings. Wish they would uh, port their games and remaster yeah. definitive editions. Have you had an experience with a game like this where the mods or hacks fix problems, but you have reservations about using them? Uh, okay, well, first off... Um, that's, a, that's a decent question. Yeah, so first off, I... Uh, now that Punch Mom's gone through P5 and uh, P4G, uh, at some point uh, she was going to crack open P3, and I was trying to decide whether or not it should oh, be... Oh, God! It, uh, we, the warnings have been put in place. That's such a stupid, awful way to go through that shit. Oh, yeah, Jesus. Yeah, but it's the way it is. And uh, I was wondering if, like, portable would be... <sighs> The route portable, to go. Portable, portable. Because one, FEMC, and two, uh, you minimize the running around by turning it into a map. Um, it could, it, who cares about that? It's controlling the party members. You control the party. Yeah, all right. All right. You, you can't go back to that. So what's it's missing? Too infuriating. Then? What's missing? You know? Uh, what, what's the problem? Being able with to actually run around in the overworld. Is that it? Yeah. Because I know that. And the anime cutscenes. The enemy cutscenes were replaced with incredibly terrible uh, in-engine cutscenes. Uh, okay. As well as a couple minor features that I don't particularly think matter all that much, but the oh, and answer is not part of it. Who we fuck off? Who cares? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because because that's the one thing is like you know, Fess has some, uh, but 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 also besides the 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 the, the fucking the dated shit on on on, on like demon fusion and, and controlling party members um there's also like like if she can do like fem c for example that's a whole other series of relationships in the game that i know nothing I, about i would say fem c is like a legitimately better character and more interesting social links than than p3 mc okay she's really fun if there was a way to like play if she could like play portable and then know when to go check out a cutscene that'd be ideal yeah you you can yeah you that yeah yeah do but, that but i don't know where the parts are you know but well, that would i guess be, you'll just have to just have to be around yeah 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 i think that that would probably be the ideal uh the only game that i can think of that would apply to this is uh when witcher 2 came out I played it and was really annoyed by the item limit, the weight limit. And I don't tend to actually mod out the weight limit in games. I try and work within them because I'm like, ah, it's the way they designed it. And I got annoyed around a couple hours in and installed the over nine. I think it was the over 9,000 weight mod. Uh, and I was like, okay, well... I'm just going to fucking play with this now. And then a couple hours in after that, I was like, man, am I ruining the game for myself by playing with this weight mod? I'm going to take it off. And then played it for about 10 more minutes and my inventory filled up. And I was like, oh my fucking God, this is the worst. 
If you play Witcher 2, play with a goddamn inventory weight mod, because holy shit. Yeah, that shit is terrible. Um, yeah, so mods where there's reservations, not like, 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 because I mean, obviously shit like content restored in KOTOR is, is just wildly, you have to do it. Um, just flat improvement, yeah. The most, the, 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 recently, I guess the, the closest thing to this is uh, when I was discussing uh, Half-Life 2 and uh, made the mistake of igniting oh, God some kind of current war between those who are all about M-Mod and those who are all about the original experience. You and play the original experience. Well, everyone has opinions, and they're very strong, and they, uh, they yell about them a lot, loudly. <laughs> the, the the argument that I would make, Wooly, is that the mods that are being recommended for Half Life Two are significantly different, and if you want to play the game like kind of that as came it out. was, mm -hmm. you will not you will not actually have that experience. Yeah, I, I mean, dude, I've, I've 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 heard, I've sat there and heard like both sides go at it for a minute and. I've drawn my conclusions, but I, I, I did not know that this was such a powder keg. But yeah. Yeah, because cause it let me let me put it to you. So the one that the game that I'm the most familiar with in terms of modding is New Vegas. Uh Fallout New Vegas, right? There are three there are essentially three ways to play New Vegas. It, like, you know, there's a million mods you can install, but there's three. There's New Vegas. I'm going to play New Vegas. And maybe you install some bug fixes. Or you know what? But it's like vanilla, right? Then you've got what's called the Jay Sawyer mod. Which is a mod created by the lead, J uh, Jonathan Sawyer. Wait. Josh Sawyer. Not Jonathan. Josh Sawyer. And it's like, listen, this is shit that I wanted to include in the hardcore difficulty option. Uh, it's the way I always intended the game to be played. It's, it's, you know, it is essentially the director's cut of the game, right? Uh, and it does stuff like make weight limits more extreme and makes damage a lot higher and makes it, you know, like the gunfights are a lot shorter, that kind of thing, right? Mm -hmm. And... Then you have uh, the community mod, which is called Project Nevada, which is the one that was cultivated and worked on for years and years and is just a, sh a shit zillion extra features and all sorts of shit and changes the way the it genuinely improves the way the game is played a lot. And Project Nevada is an explicitly better version of new vegas so what's the problem it doesn't play anything like new vegas uh okay you're divorcing the experience so far from what it was that you wouldn't call it the same game it is it is a new better game that is very very different okay from new vegas i don't really like Project Nevada. I don't really care for it. So if someone is walking in to experience this for the first time, you think it would be the wrong move to go for the modded into a different version of the game. And here's solution. where the arguments get much more extreme with games like this. Because Half-Life 2 is a 12 to 18 hour game, right? New Vegas is a big fucking game. Mm-hmm. And you're probably not going to play it back to back twice, unmodded and modded. You're probably going to play it once. Once. So then it becomes, why wouldn't you play Project Nevada mm -hmm. to have the best possible first experience? Mm -hmm. Right. Yes, exactly. And it, and the answer then becomes for people like me, I don't really like some of the changes. Okay. Because when you it know. came to when it came to uh, um, Half Life Two, after hearing it, uh, what the consensus kind of well, it's not a consensus. There was none. But what I concluded is 
play the original so that you experience the flawed classic the same way everyone else has. Yeah. So that you like will have her. the you will have the knowledge of this according to what everyone else knows and um it will be like that version in your head. Mhm. Mm like currently, for example, I have uh, a version of New Vegas installed on my PC called Viva New Vegas, which is a total conversion mod pack that is made out of 272 mods that people have like converted into one mega mod that you install via either a 10-hour process or a program called uh, Wab Wabajack. Uh, which is has its base on uh, the Sawyer mod, uh, and it is fucking different, man. Like these kinds of things are best, in my opinion, for hey man, did you play vanilla and like it? Do you want a reason to justify to yourself of playing through this giant game again? Mm -hmm. That's why I would always recommend some vanilla-ish version for everyone. Because if you play through Half-Life 2 and go, man, Half-Life 2 is the shit. Fuck yeah, install whatever the fuck you want on it and go through it again. And but, be like, oh, this is a cool new way to experience it. But knowing that I won't be going through these things again, I don't have a problem <laughs> going either way on it. Yeah. I don't have a problem picking the, the superior, newer take on something. No, knowing that I'm not going to do that replay. You know? So, like, when you eventually tell me, Pat, today's the day I want you to tell me how to turn on New Vegas, I'm going to have to do a bunch of fucking soul searching on that and ask people who aren't me for advice because I don't want to steer you wrong. Um, well, you're not not selling me on Project Nevada. It's good. You're not not selling me on it. It has it has some features that I fucking hate, like a, a, when you put on helmets, it can put on a helmet overlay that like fucks your vision up the entire time you have the helmet on. I hate mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Um, and a lot of people are gonna probably shit their asses that the number one reason why I don't like Project Nevada is that it, it adds a sprint function to the game that you can't use on controller. Yeah. Because I actually play these games on controller, and people don't like that. Well, that's a that's a big that's a big deal for me. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's huge. Hmm. Okay. Well, you know, um, it, it, yeah, it's 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 whatever. It's it's just it's gonna be the way it is, and I and I understand when I'm coming into something with a, a um, like, hey, there is not gonna be a replay, so I'm gonna miss this side or that side of the experience or whatever. But I, I've had this discussion. Me and Reggie were talking about this actually uh, the other day for a while. But like the, you know, and I think we touched on it here too with the whole with me and replaying things. But I've come to a state where like I do not replay slash rewatch things very often because I would much rather spend that same time experiencing something new. I don't understand. I, you play fighting games all the time. Yes, that's that's because I'm playing against someone different. But that's but bully. That's the same match over and over. No, 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 no. I I I, I hear what you're saying. Um, hmm. I don't. When it comes to something narrative that I'm playing for narrative purposes, then I'm playing. I'm looking for a different narrative. If I'm playing right. fighting games, it's not for the narrative. Does that make yeah, sense? Okay. All right. Yeah, it was it was just fun to do. Okay. The narrative <laughs> is the reason why I'm playing these games. If I'm not playing for a narrative, if I'm playing chess, then I'm gonna yeah, I'll play chess again and again and yeah, again. Yeah. So honestly, what you're saying right now in the in the New Vegas example is a really good reason to not use Project Nevada because it turns it into way more of a shooter and way less of an RPG. You got You you got to actually mouse and keyboard to play. Yeah, it has it has all these things that make the shooting better and the shooting more accurate and the shooting. Uh, like there's a grenade hotkey button and there's a sprint button and, and there's bullet time and all these things to make the bad shooting better. <laughs> Fighting games Whereas are just roguelikes. Vanilla, you're like, oh, I'm fuck just going to use my fucking VATS button. <laughs> a fighting game is really a roguelike if you think about it. Uh, yeah, it's different every time. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, no. Mouse and keyboard are, uh, are a, a huge uh, factor there. So hmm. we will see. Um, you know... Ono was onto something when he put the gems 
into Street Fighter Cross Tekken because that's the mm -hmm. most roguelike shit I can imagine. Motherfucker, did you see? Did you see the uh, Nocturne fighting game mod Mugen thing? I did not. Someone has a Mugen uh, uh, Nocturne thing running where you take turns doing combos on each other until you deplete the life bar. So Did SMT Nocturne? As, so the Demi Fiend is juggling <laughs> Jack Frost or Black <laughs> okay. Frost, and then okay. you continue until you drop the combo. So he does a big old Marvel combo, and then oh, man, drops him down, and then it switches to Black uh, uh, um, um, Frost's turn to do a combo on, on the fucking Fiend. And then Can they you take send turns. That to me or tweet that? Yeah, I'll, I'll go back and find it. It's it's incredible. I'm like that's brilliant, and turn-based fighting games can absolutely be a thing. A little bit of that Namco X Capcom juice. Don't you mean Namco Cross Capcom? <laughs> I do. <sighs> it's good shit. It's good shit. Yeah, uh, we're about to. I'll t I'll tweet it out in a second. Calm your tits. <laughs> 